Today's podcast is about a common dynamic in narcissistic families, fear of facing the truth. In narcissistic families, the blame is never placed on the abuse of narcissistic parents, but on innocent victims. This often leads to the selection of a scapegoat, someone who becomes the target of all the family's frustrations and dysfunctions. Surprisingly, it's not only the narcissists themselves who choose the scapegoat, but sometimes victims do it as well. They may prefer to blame a sibling, or they point fingers at someone who married into the family, but they don't blame the abusive parent. This blame shifting only perpetuates the cycle of abuse. As difficult as it may be, it's crucial to face the truth about the toxic nature of narcissists. In doing so, we can free ourselves from their manipulation and begin the journey towards healing. In the words of John 8.32 in the New Living Translation, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Within narcissistic families, the scapegoat plays a pivotal role in maintaining the dysfunctional dynamic. They're the ones who bear the brunt of the emotional and psychological abuse, constantly being blamed for the family's problems. This role is not assigned randomly or carelessly. It's carefully chosen by the narcissist and supported by other family members. By designating a scapegoat, a diversion is created that deflects attention from the narcissist's abusive behavior. The family then believes that all their troubles stem from this one individual, thus absolving the narcissist of any responsibility. Unfortunately, the scapegoat is left to shoulder the burden of both their own pain and the family's dysfunction. In spite of the abuse that comes at them from the entire family, scapegoats are often compassionate, sensitive individuals who threaten the narcissist's control and expose their true nature. This threatens the narcissist's ego, leading them to vilify the scapegoat. One perplexing aspect of narcissistic family dynamics is the tendency of victims to blame anyone but the narcissist for the dysfunction. I firmly believe this behavior arises from a place of fear and self-preservation. Victims believe that by shifting the blame onto someone else, they don't have to face the fact that their parents are abusive monsters, and they believe that they can escape the wrath of the narcissist. For example, one sibling may have been abused less than another. The one abused more may blame the one abused less for manipulating their parents into treating them better or even spoiling them. Blaming someone who married into this family is another common tactic used by victims. They view this newcomer as an outsider, an easy target to blame for the family dysfunction. By doing so, they're protecting their narcissistic parents by diverting all negative attention onto this person and off their parents' behavior. However, this misguided attempt to find an easier way out only prolongs their suffering and enables the narcissist to maintain their control. While it may seem daunting, facing the truth about the toxic nature of narcissists is crucial. Acknowledging the reality of abuse and understanding the dynamics at play empowers victims to heal, learn, and grow. When we confront the truth, we reclaim our power, taking it back from narcissists, and begin the process of healing. We no longer waste our energy trying to excuse the narcissist's behavior or protect ourselves from their wrath. Instead, we focus on our own well-being and healing. Remember, the truth will set you free. By embracing the truth, we can break free of the chains of the narcissistic family dynamic and embark on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It may be a challenging path, but the rewards of reclaiming our lives and finding true happiness are immeasurable. Thank you for listening to my podcast.